Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today is our maternity photo shoot. It is tonight at 5.30, so Jeremy's at work currently, and he'll be at work. Um, usually he gets off like around 5 or 6, but I told him today, you have to get off early, which that's fine. His boss is like really lenient. Um, so he'll, he should be home around like 4.30 so that he can like shower and get dressed and stuff. But um, I figured that I would vlog and try and get as much footage as possible and just show you like the behind the scenes and stuff and you like, can get ready with me so I can have someone to chat with. And yeah, I'm really excited. It's the same photographer that we used for our wedding, and we've used her for like fall photo shoots um, with my stepson. And she's a really good photographer. There's there's two of them usually. Like for my wedding, there was two of them, and so that we have like pictures from like her and pictures from him. Um, and he was supposed to be there today, tonight, I wanted both of them because I like having the different perspectives and like the different sets of photos you can see, you know, they have like different styles and it's just really cool to see the photos from like both of their perspectives kind of thing. Um, but unfortunately, he does have, they both have like full-time jobs, like the photography job is kind of like a side gig. So um, he had to work tonight and his boss didn't give him an option, so he will not be there, um, which is sad, but it's okay because she's still a really great photographer and I'm still really excited. Um, yeah, so she's also my friend. We've been friends for a few years and she's really nice, but um, you know, I, I obviously like to support my friends in their businesses, but I also really like her photography, so it's not just about the fact that she's my friend. <laughs> right now, I'm just... Honestly, it's like 11 a.m. and I've been up since like 9.30, but I was lazing in bed, so I'm just like getting up now and I'm gonna make breakfast and I'm gonna like probably clean my house today because I didn't all weekend because we had my stepson and um, yeah, my day is gonna be pretty boring. Also look guys, we went apple picking over the weekend and we got a lot of apples. It was like three bags that we had, but I've made two apple crisps now. <laughs> and we've given apples to friends. We sent my stepson home to his mom's with like probably 10 apples as well. <laughs> anyway, we kind of went a little crazy. It's so addicting while well, you're there and then you're like, shit, I just spent like a lot of money Hey, so it is now like around 3 o'clock, um, I've been just cleaning and doing my thing, I'm still in my PJs, um, but I'm going, I'm going to now hop into the shower and um, start getting ready. Sometimes it can take me a while, so I figured I should start now. So I just got out of the shower, now Jeremy's in the shower, so that's going to be loud, but I'm just doing my makeup, and yeah. I don't really know if I like this primer, but I'm going to try it. make your skin matte, but I don't know if I like that. So I have three different <laughs> foundation shades. I have my light, medium, and dark from like being tan. But at this point in time, I'm not really sure. I'm definitely not in my winter lightness yet, but I think, I think I'm this one. I'll try this one. I'm just gonna take these out so I don't get makeup all over them.
can't decide if it's like too white or if it's good. Because I'm just used to seeing my face be red. Has anyone else's like hair changed color during the pregnancy? Because that was a thing that I never knew. You're laughing at me. That was a thing that I never knew existed. And now my eyebrows are like quite blonde. And they used to be brown. Like not dark, dark, but like darker than the, I feel like they barely show up, especially like on camera. I don't know weird and I have like little like blonde do you see that like blonde streaks going through my hair I was born a blonde but my hair darkened at, like at 10 and it's just weird I don't know just uh weird pregnancy things Now we are nice and white. Okay, so I like only powder my eyes, like my eyeball area, not my eyeballs. Um, and that's because I don't like to be, I don't like to be too matte. Uh, I find when I put powder on, if I like put it on my cheeks or like especially around my nose, my nose gets really dry. I have like dry skin on my nose. So if I powder it, then the like foundation gets all weird and like you can like see, like on camera it probably doesn't look like it, but if like you see it in person, you can like you can see the like, I don't know how to describe it. It looks bad. So I, I don't powder like my nose or my cheeks or anything. I just leave. The foundation which is why I'm not sure if I like the primer so much because it's like a stay matte primer I I have oily skin but not on my like nose like my this area is dry so anyway but I don't like this part to crease so I do put the powder on like under my eyes and on my eyelids I'm sorry for making a weird face. I literally can't do this without opening my mouth. It's just a thing. And there we have it. That's literally all the powder I do. I feel like as you get older, you learn like what works for your face. You watch people like on YouTube doing their makeup and you try and like replicate that but it doesn't work for like your skin type and stuff. You have to figure out what works for you and what looks good in person, not just on camera because I find like the camera makes makeup look so much better than it is, I find. I just keep looking at my eyebrows and I'm like, they're so freaking blonde. It's so weird. They. I wonder if they'll go back to normal after I give birth. I don't know. I taught like the hairdresser girl that did my hair. She said her eyebrows also changed color during pregnancy. They did not go back to normal. They are just like forever now blonde. And I'm like, I liked my eyebrows before. They were nice and dark. They were beautiful. And I mean, they still have their shape. Like they're still thick. They're just like blonde. And that is one eyebrow done. Do you see the difference? Okay, like 
That's the color my eyebrow used to actually be. Yeah. Okay, eyebrows done. I know they look a little funny right now with my bare face, but bear with me. little baby hairs, I swear to God. That's it, we just leave it. See, I used to then after that step put highlighter on my cheeks and like here and now I feel I don't do that because I feel like I'm already pretty white <laughs> that I try I want to like darken my face a little not like add shot I don't know I just don't like the way it looks on me so and that blush that I just put on like has shine to it already It would be really awesome to have some fake lashes for this shoot, but I don't have any lash glue. And there we have it. My dress is pink, so it matches. Oh, what should we do with the hair? Should I put my dress on first? Okay, let's have my dress on. I'm gonna pull these up for now, make it easier, but they're totally gonna go down. I wanted to do like flowers in my hair, but then I never got like a flower crown or anything, so.
I just wet them with water, like wet my hair with water, because it's naturally curly, but it's just been up in a bun. So when it dries, it like makes ringlets. home the sun's going down the pictures are amazing I didn't see I mean she hasn't edited them and stuff but she is like showing me some on the screen and they I'm so excited to see them all anyways I can't wait to take this dress off this is the dress and it has like a super long tail that looks really pretty in the wind but uh, I'm tired of carrying it around <laughs> So yeah, taking that off, but it was successful.